Welcome to the demonstration of NetSuite WMS for picking work order components and creating an assembly build with a mobile RF handheld device. I'm in the warehouse manager role and I'll be toggling back and forth between the NetSuite desktop and the mobile handheld interface throughout the demonstration. Here on my dashboard, I can see that I have some work orders to build today. And if I drill directly into the work order, I can see that it's for assembly item 7890 and is in a released status. Because this work order is released, the quantities of my two different components are committed. As a warehouse operator with the proper permissions, I will access the mobile RF handheld device so that I can begin picking the components for this work order. Here, I can only see locations for which my role has permissions. I will select my US1 location and navigate to the work order menu. We can see the two steps needed to complete the work order. First, we need to pick and stage the assembly's components, and next, we will consume those staged components in an assembly build transaction. Upon selecting the picking menu option, I can either scan or enter the work order number, or I can select it from the list of released work orders below. The mobile device displays the assembly item along with the quantity to build. Below, the pick tasks have been generated for this work order using the WMS pick strategies. This ensures we are walking in the most efficient pick path possible to gather our components. To begin picking, select the first pick task in the list. The mobile device will display the recommended bin as identified by the pick strategies. If for some reason I need other bin options, I can toggle to show all bins. I will now walk over to comp bin 01 as recommended by the system and scan the bin. Next, I will be prompted to enter or scan the item, UPC, or other accessible barcode for the component item. This ensures I'm picking the correct item. If at any time I would like a visual representation of the assembly or component I'm picking, I can always click the eye icon at the top to show the item images. Now, the mobile RF handheld device tells us we need four units for this work order, which is based on what's been committed. Below, I will enter the quantity that I'm picking. And now we've completed that pick task and can move on to the next one. We can see that I have zero left to pick for component one, and we can continue going down the list of pick tasks. For component two, WMS will generate a recommended bin, so I will walk over to that bin to scan it. Next, I can scan the item that I'm taking out of that bin, and then enter the quantity. And now, since there's nothing left for me to pick, it's prompting me to go to staging to place all the picked components in the production area for assembly. I will walk over to the production staging area to place the components there and scan the bin. Now, these items are ready to be assembled into the finished good. If I was solely responsible for picking work orders, I could move directly on to picking the next one. Instead, I will continue the process for this specific work order by going back to the main menu, selecting work orders, and this time selecting the second menu option to build the assembly. Here, the work orders that are listed have had their components successfully picked and are ready to be built. I will select that very same work order that I just staged. I can see the work order quantity of two and what I have built so far. Please note, WMS also allows for partial work order builds, so I can enter in a quantity of one and then come back at a later time to complete the remaining quantity. For this demonstration, I will go ahead and complete this work order by entering in the full buildable quantity based on what has been picked and then optionally selecting an inventory status to control the availability and commitment of this quantity. At this time, I can also print a label for this assembly item to put on my finished good so that I can scan it for its remaining time in the warehouse. And now I have to select the bin in which I'm putting the final product. So I will walk over to my assembled bin and scan that bin. And here's a summary of what has been built and put away for this work order. And if I refresh the work order in NetSuite, I can see that it has been fully built in real time with the updated component and assembly quantities, which are immediately available for sales order fulfillment.